Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for the fourth. So, actually, it's from, you, you know, the timing is fluid. This could be from the time you watch it throughout the fourth, the fifth, whatever. This is just a reading that, or the energies that I am picking up on for somebody. So we're just going to see what comes up. What do we got? It could be for tonight. It could be for tonight into tomorrow. I don't know why I keep saying that. But what do we have? Well, we have a mess. Ooh, we'll take that one. Well, it's the ace of ace of pentacles, so hmm. accepting. Accepting an offer. So it's a challenge though, right? It's a challenge to accept this opportunity. Because the ace of pentacles is a golden opportunity. Now you see the buck. There could be some sort of uh you know, this is like the stag. It is the stag. Hmm. There could be some sort of, this is an opportunity and somebody is thinking about accepting it right now, challenging. Is this real? Is this solid? It's like, there's an, somebody is, has something to offer, but there's a feeling of, is it real? I mean, that's what this is. Is this real? Is it real? Is it real? This could be a gift. This is something you can touch. It's something that you can hold on to. Really? Is it? Can I really? Is this real? You know, that's what this is. Is this real? Because this, that's the question here. We're going to get two of these. Um, somebody has manifested something. Flirt. <laughs> Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Go ahead. Do it. You might find something real. You might. You might. It might turn into something real. You know, I turned it. I turned it. And that's real. So it might turn into something real. So you, you may, you know, start flirting with somebody and you don't know if it's real and it turns into something real. One more card. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Trust. Believe. You know, have faith. Go have some fun. And believe that whatever, whatever you've been asking for. Because this is manifestation. There's an opportunity for you to receive it. Okay. Have faith. Go ahead. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Go put yourself out there and have faith and trust that you can find somebody real. And this could, you know, you may you may have this wonderment, is this real? And then it could absolutely turn into something real. It absolutely could. Um we have this stag here. That's an independent, right? A stag, you know, that it's like he's, he smells something. You see the look at that. He's got his nose up in the air. He senses something is near and he may see something and he's probably going to go after it. Usually that buck doesn't waste any time. He may. I mean, he's, he's very wise. We have a very wise stag here. I mean, he's got a lot of uh, years behind his back, you can tell. Ooh. Now it's decision time, the two of wands. This is about making a decision. Um, the moment of decision. That's what that is. Ooh, ace of cups reversed is this, you know. Hmm. Am I even ready for love? Ooh, meeting somebody unexpectedly. Yikes. Mm, yes, it could turn into commitment. Have faith and trust. 
this is faith and trust. It makes complete sense right there, too. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Out socializing, having fun. Uh-oh. This is great. It really is. Um, this person, you know, whoever this person is, maybe who you, the waiting is over. All of a sudden, somebody shows up in your life somehow. It's like you're out having fun. You're out socializing. If it's if it's not actually, you know, you could be out having drinks. Or you could be socializing on the internet. Because this could be internet. This is mingling. This is social. Okay. And there is, uh, what's it called? Social media. So, you could meet somebody on social media. <laughs> Or you'd go out, you go out drinking with your friends. This is friendship. You go out drinking with your friends. Now you, you, you get this opportunity. It's unexpected. An unexpected opportunity with somebody who is very, very um, respectable. This person is respectable. This person is a hard worker. This person is wise. Very, very wise. We have this emotional... Uh, we have this person over here that there is no love there. there there's no, there, we have this, this person right here. There's no love. There's, this person is emotionally unavailable completely. This person may have thrown away an opportunity for love. This person is, is withdrawn, um, doesn't really have love to offer. And that's the decision. We have a decision here, a choice, the past and the present. So I feel like we have a new opportunity that is presenting itself. I think it's an opportunity to accept um, or not accept, obviously. Um, this is something that you have been waiting for. It's like we have somebody here that is very protective. Somebody that... Very, very protective. I'm just... I keep looking at these... It's it's going to be confusing. It's it's going to be a, it may be even be shocking. It may leave you in awe because it feels like I'm in awe. I'm like oh my I'm like wow wow. So I think I think I can't even speak. I and I can't even. That's funny. There's no such thing as coincidence. I think that there is some sort of um, there's an element of surprise here. I feel as though. Something is arriving. I think there's somebody that is going to... It's not even arriving. It's like you, you, you're you, out having fun or you're, you're hanging with your friends or I don't know what it is. You're doing something and unexpectedly you start to, to have a connection with somebody. I feel like this person... For some of you, it's a fire sign. It's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel as though this may be what you have been waiting for. Um, it could be the answer to your prayers. You may have manifested this. You, This person um, is probably looking for a commitment. They probably are looking for a commitment. They're not looking to just hit and run. I feel like uh, you may have dealt with somebody in the past that that didn't love you, you know, didn't know how to love, and it's it's time to, you know, have faith and trust. Don't let that person that didn't know how to love um, hold you back. Okay, it's time for you it, to make that decision to put yourself out there and start dating again. You know, have fun. So I feel like this is a day. And I think this has to do with tonight. I don't know why. I don't know why I said that at the beginning. It could be tonight. It could be tomorrow. It could be at any time. Timing is fluid. I think there's an unexpected um, opportunity, you know, to play with somebody else. And this, this play could actually lead to something solid and stable. I feel like this person that is coming in is defensive. This person is scared as well. I feel like this person um, is very protective. I feel like this person um, is a family man or a family person. This person is very wise. They have a lot of life experience. 
I feel like there's some sort of Well, like I said, it's an element of surprise. You don't, you weren't prepared. You weren't prepared for this. And I don't think the other person was prepared for it either. You know, I think that everybody's out having fun or they're, they're just talking, they're mingling, or they're getting to know each other. And something goes in a different direction and it looks like it's positive. I think it's, it's, uh, even with these two reversed, I think it starts out with having fun, <laughs> having fun. I mean, I'm, we're out having fun. I'm not looking, I'm not looking, I'm not looking for love. I'm not looking for love. I've been, you know, in a relationship where I wasn't loved, that kind of thing. You know what I mean? I was, there was no reciprocation. And I think that all of a sudden there's some sort of element of surprise <laughs> it is very surprising i think there's an opportunity to come together with somebody that you least expect i mean that's what i see that's what i feel i feel like now you have to make a decision are you ready to you know go down this path are you ready to go down this path because this could lead to commitment it could lead to commitment and I think that it starts out as just you know playfulness it starts out as playfulness and <laughs> it's shocking it is shocking um, <laughs> this four of wands reversed this is um, somebody is about to be in a commitment and it's like they don't even see it coming I think we have a very I mean this is like an it could be an alpha male okay if you think about the buck and the emperor this is this could be an alpha male that is taking action you know and his life is in order he's very organized he you know knows what he wants he has life experience and I feel like this guy is ready for a commitment he's ready for a commitment and he may you know be up against another person that doesn't have faith and trust because they were not loved in the past so you know he may need to protect this person he may need to defend this person he may need to you know prove himself to this person so he or she or whatever but I feel as though we have somebody here that is about to unexpectedly get themselves into a commitment and it starts out with flirting and playfulness so I think it's a challenge to accept because it's like this isn't real I don't trust I don't believe you know I don't I don't I don't believe I don't believe I'm not looking for love I I I, I was uh you know, not loved in the past, you know, so I, I'm not, I don't believe in it. I don't believe in it. So I feel like we, we have somebody here that is about to, uh, show up that has the strength and the wisdom and the knowledge to overcome this other person's inability you know to let them in this person has enough life experience this person is going to fight for it it's like i'm i'll do whatever it takes it's like you know give me a chance whoever this person is i feel like it's you know it's it's it it may lead to sex and you may think it's just a sexual encounter, but it actually leads to a commitment. It's unexpected. It is unexpected. You could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with a... Aries, you could be dealing with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here as well, but whoever this person was, um, 
they were emotionally unavailable. They didn't uh, reciprocate. And now it's that that decision is letting that go. No longer investing your heart in that, just letting it go, letting go of that third party situation, seeing the truth in the situation, you know, turning your back on it. It's time. You got this new sexual partner. Oh my God. There's this, because that's the ace of, I was just looking at that. That's the ace of wands in his hand. It's a new sexual partner. So it's like turning your back on the unrequited love situation and like shockingly getting yourself into a commitment that you didn't even ask for. So that's what I see and that's what I got. So that's what I got. Um, it's surprising. It is an element of surprise. I think whoever this person is, they are, they are, um, they're very protective and they'll do whatever it takes. It's like, I, it's like they know what they want. They know what they want. And the waiting is over. It's like the, the search is over. The search is over. You're what I want. I don't know who this reading is for, but if it is for you, congratulations. I feel like this could happen when you are out with your friends. It could be you could meet these meet these this these people through your friends, or this could be um, some sort of party that you're at because this is a this is a party and this is a party, or this could be so, social media. You have to decide that you are ready. And it's a challenge. It is a challenge. So I think that we have this stag here that is about to, it's like he's, hmm, what's that? It's the pheromones. It's the pheromones. You know what pheromones are, right? It's like he senses it and he goes for it and finds his dough, you know? Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And that's what that's, that's, that makes complete sense. That does. When you love yourself, everybody can see it. And it makes you more of a magnet. It's like a magnet. It's like, whew, and that's where the pheromones come in. When you are in a positive state of mind and you are loving yourself, everybody can see it. They can smell it. It's true. So anyway, I feel as though, you know, we have an unexpected uh, situation that could lead to a commitment when you didn't even ask for it. Good luck.